Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house. You know, I don't know what he thought. I don't know. But y'all know Derek Chauvin. Y'all know he got stuck. Okay. But what I didn't know, it was like 22 times. And the inmate just allegedly now picked Black Friday to symbolize Black Lives Matter. This, the, I mean, this story comes from Basim, so I, you know, I, no, Lord. It said, knife comes at you very fast. The inmate accused of stabbing Derek Chauvin 22 times planned a Black Friday attack to symbolize uh BLM, according to this, uh, that certainty gives a new meaning to reason for the season. Authorities identified the federal inmate behind the sharks, the Shanks giving stabbing, as Don, John Tersick. Tersick, yeah, Tersick. He reportedly plotted on the ex-cop convicted of murdering George Floyd for a month. When the big day finally came, Tursack was allegedly ready for Chauvin with the improvised knife. NBC News reports they um, said Turkus faces charges of attempted murder, assault with intent to commit murder, Assault with a dangerous weapon and assault resulting in serious bodily injury. Bodily injury. Damn. Um, as Bassa previously reported, a fellow prisoner tried to carve Chauvin like a turkey on November 24th the day after Thanksgiving. Unlike George Floyd, who suffocated to death for nine minutes, Chauvin received life-saving measures from the staff at the Federal Correction Institution in Tucson. He was transferred to a nearby hospital <laughs> and in stable condition. As soon as news of Chauvin's stabbing made the headlines. Speculations spread about him helping him overturn his convictions. Um, the attack came only one week after the U.S. Supreme Court rejected his appeal. What do you expect? I mean, you sat there and, and had pleasure of taking the life out of somebody. You... Now that prosecutors have identified the inmate who stabbed them, there are even more questions than answers. Okay? So now, they said he got connections with the Mexican mafia. Okay? Um, many who wish nothing but worse for the Chauvin celebrated his previously unknown attacker as a vigilante. Now that we know the man behind this Thanksgiving uh, shanking, some say it's looking funny in the light. Chauvin supporters claim it provoked, it proved his innocence. Meanwhile, several of the um, the leader's critics wonder how the attacker missed 22 times. The co federal prosecutors claim that John Tursek planned this, like I previously said. Um, uh, and they, he used a black hand symbol, which is a symbol associated with the black Mexican, I mean, with the Mexican mafia. And he supposedly, allegedly joined the Mexican mafia in 1990. So,
So, <clears throat> per the Los Angeles Times, he greenlit assaults on of individuals for infractions of Mexican mafia rules. He also reportedly collected taxes from drug dealers and street gangs in return for Mexican mafia protection and permission to engage in narcotic trafficking. So, um, <clears throat> this is kind of like Miami when Jeffrey Dahmer went up there to Portage. Um, And um, I don't know how, he, you know, people knew he wasn't going to survive. People knew he wasn't going to survive. And, you know, when Dahmer was in prison, he was a hellcat. For those of y'all who don't know, um, he was a hellcat. See, because black people don't play that eating me stuff. And a lot of them was looking at him really, really sideways. Like, you know, they were scared of him. But at the same time, they wanted him fucked up. If you know what I mean. So it was real difficult. Now, Scarver, who used to work with my brother, by the way, um at Wisconsin Conservatory, they knew that dude had some issues. And he had nothing to lose. Uh, so the guards allowed him to do what he they, he did to Jeffrey. And um, this right here, it smelled like the same kind of um, rhetoric. How much did they get paid? Because it is kind of strange that you could get somebody 22 times and they didn't get the vital organ. I mean, goodness. Tursak, in other words, in a, in a, I mean, took credit for the murder of a man in Folsom Prison in 1990. He claimed to authorize another man's deleting in 1998. In 1997, the FBI recruited him as an informant. That's, so that's his history. Yeah. Well, however, working for the feds only got him in more trouble. Uh, the federal prosecutors dropped him from admitting to dealing drugs and storing money and authorizing assaults while on their payroll. He pleaded guilty to racketeering, conspiracy, to commit a murder, and he got a 30-year sentence. Uh, Tursak's time was almost up. His release date was scheduled for June 3, 2026. Interesting. Interesting. So he's about to get out, and then he does this. I mean... Some suspect that Tursok knew he'd be safer with the life sentence than as a free man who turned on the feds and the uh, Mexican mafia. After all, he reportedly admitted to choosing Chauvin for his status. He reportedly spent a month thinking about the date and how symbolic of a move he could make that would guarantee more major headlines. And then he wasted no time telling the FBI about this. 
Either way, Chauvin was serious and his serious injuries, and he remains in federal custody for the rest of his two decades behind bars. With these new charges against Tursik, he could face just as much additional time or more for the shenanigans. Maybe that's what he wanted all along, a lot of people think. So, I don't know. We'll see. What y'all think? What y'all think about that? You like what you hear? Subscribe and share the channel. And um, I'll see you in the next video.